Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA Sports has begun the Team of the Year hype with what they tweeted yesterday and consequently what we are going to see today on FIFA 23. We are going to today start to see the nominees for who we as the community will be voting on to be the Team of the Year in FIFA 23. So I want to talk about that and of course how it has got our Team of the Year hype starting to build, especially with people starting to sell cards on the market is the market crashing right now i think the answer to that is no but you've seen some prices start to drop like this gold mbappe as players have started to just slowly sell some cards out of their teams will that continue today or will we have an opportunity maybe to make some coins with a normal monday rewards market rise we'll talk about that and with the spcs and specifically for the upgrade packs we had a gold upgrade pack yesterday an 80 plus upgrade that ea dropped I don't know if this is our like weekly upgrade pack, so I'll talk about that situation because it is kind of interesting. It's out for 89 days. Kind of cool, kind of different as well. But will we see another gamble pack today, whether it's a hero player pick, an icon player pick again, or some sort of upgrade pack? I do think we're going to get something today, and we're going to talk about that in this video. And especially since yesterday's content was not that great, SPC fodder prices are down a little bit as I'm talking about this stuff and as we're looking at prices right now. And that's what I want to talk about in the video because we might be able to invest before today's content. So if you're excited for today, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about Team of the year this is the tweet they put out yesterday kind of a surprise right we weren't expecting any news until the 10th but i went back and look at last year this is literally a carbon copy of what they did last year the day before they put the nominees out they said hey we're going to reveal them tomorrow like they did yesterday they said hey we're going to show you the 100 team of the year nominees tomorrow now the voting does not start until the 10th, which actually is tomorrow, right? But we're going to see these today, right? They tweeted this out yesterday. And inside of this little video that they that they created here, they showed this car design, which is the nominees kind of car design that they will use. Official car design is right here, right? That's the full size car design. And it might look really familiar to you because this is most likely the car design they will show these cards on. But the real question is now, and a lot of people have been asking this, are these cards going to be in the game today? Because a couple years ago in FIFA 21, they dropped basically the team of the year nominee cards with plus one upgrades on their gold versions and they put them in packs. I don't believe that's going to be the case because I think they learned from that that one year and they maybe didn't like what happened because of it and it really crashed the market. So, I mean, that is a theory for today. But I really feel like this card design is going to end up being the honorable mentions card design. It'll just be what EA kind of show and use as like a placeholder card. Of course, this is not the official team of the year card design. The real one looks way better, way cooler. So this is just kind of one I think they'll use to kind of showcase the cards that are being voted on and showcase those players. This is the exact same thing they did last year, right? They tweeted out a picture and said attackers are going to be revealed tomorrow. Now, of course, this year for us, they're showing us all 100 nominees. Uh, so that's cool. There's no like splitting it up between the days or whatever. Uh, but one thing they also did was they created a loading screen and they put all of the nominees on a loading screen. So this created some panic. I remember a little bit last year because people were like, oh my goodness, are these cards in the game right now? And I don't believe that the nominees, like we've been talking about, that's the biggest question. I don't believe that nominees will be in packs today. Now, the only thing that would maybe give us a hint on if they're going to be in packs anytime soon or not is if you search here in the store, a lot of times on Fridays before we start a promo, you can see a new card design here in the store. And as I look through here, I do not see anything related to team of the year nominees, team of the year, nothing of that sort. So, that to me means that today we are just going to be getting a list of 100 team of the year players and we will not be able to vote until tomorrow, but we'll be able to see those players who are in the vote today. So EA, they always do this. They kind of milk it, right? They kind of show you a little bit. They tease you a little bit. And then, of course, it's a couple days later than you actually get to vote or you actually get to see the cards and stuff like that. Team of the year, there's a lot of buildup, a lot of hype because it's team of the year, right? Some of the best cards that we see all 
year long. So I don't think they're going to be in the game today. A lot of people were speculating about that. Um, I mean, there's a p slight potential chance for that, but I really think it's just going to be EA is going to tweet it out probably two hours before content. That's what they did earlier yesterday. That's kind of the time frame. And, you know, that is starting to drive some of the selling on the market like we talked about, right? We've seen some slight drops around the market. And namely, I look at a guy like Golden Bappe, who was 840,000 coins yesterday. He is now nearing 800K. And this could just be a little bit of weekend league sell-off. But I really think it's coupled with this um, announcement from yesterday, right? He was 830, 840, and just kind Kind of started to slowly drop since then yesterday's content we did have a couple of lightning rounds so technically you could say that maybe he just got supplied but dropping down about 40,000 coins 35k in one day i mean i think this is people starting to sell off a few cards from their teams now the rest of the market you know it's doing pretty fine nothing was really like the panic has not really started the market crash i would say is not here you just have a couple of cards that have started to drop a decent amount. Now, some of those cards that have dropped the most are some of your most meta and top tier cards. And we didn't talk about this in yesterday's video, but there was a big pro tournament over the weekend. And a lot of these guys that have these big top tier cards, they were very expensive, right? Mbappe was 5.4 million coins on Saturday. Just a couple days ago, 5.4 mil. Look what happened to his card price since then. He went from 5.4, 5.5, 5.6 actually on Saturday. And uh, right now he is... 4.5 million coins. A lot of top tier cards have dropped off in price considerably um, as a lot of people that own those are selling those off because that big event is over and they want to get those cards out of their club before team of the year. And again, like I said, this is basically the switch is probably going to start to flip in the next couple of days where you see some of these cards that people will want to sell before team of the year start to keep slowly dropping. Look at Griezmann, right? Griezmann was 635 yesterday. The news broke. He just slowly started to drop down. Right now, he's just below 600,000 coins for that pass to glory Griezmann card so that's ooh, Lucio 657 that's a pretty big price drop right this is another card that might be down a little bit extra because of um it being a pro tier pro level card and you know you can see he was like 680 yesterday on Saturday he was above 700k so he's starting to go down a little bit this world cup heroes Lucio is not down that much that's a very interesting price to me we gonna have to go check that out but that's kind of the pulse of the market right now is the prices are just slowly starting to drop on the meta market. Another, I could show you so many examples of cards in here that are just down like a decent amount, not down a ton, but just starting to drop in price. And I think you're going to continue to see that. And what this really is at the start of, like we said, is it's the start of people not wanting to probably go out and buy as many cards. Could there still be fluctuations on the market? Absolutely. I'm definitely taking a look at cards today that I think could maybe have a slight rise Look at this Neymar, man, 1.95. That's pretty crazy. I think there's some cards today that could have a slight rise into the content drop, and I still think we have a potential to make coins, but I am going to start being a lot more cautious and a lot more careful because what do we know about crashes and about when people are expecting big promos and when people kind of stop wanting to buy cards for teams, a lot of the demand drops, and that is just where you get into trouble with trying to trade and quick flip cards or even own cards in your team. You're just going to start to see a lot of prices kind of fall. So that's kind of where we're starting to get into that zone. But I still think today with rewards, people get coins, they want to go out, they want to buy cards and try stuff out, right? I think these Centurions are a very interesting watch today um, in the market. I mean, I'm definitely interested in flipping a couple of these. I know that they're in packs, but these are the cards that people are wanting to try out because they're brand new and they're hyped. And two days in a row now for some of these guys, they have actually risen up from the nighttime into the morning, which is Kind of crazy. I know Trent yesterday was like 212. He went up to 220 and he's still right now about like 212, 210. But a lot of these cards have been still in pretty high demand. And a lot of them didn't drop off crazy amounts yesterday because of the news, uh, the team of the year uh, voting and stuff and the nominees being released. So I'm very interested with these cards. because I feel like they are very casual, friendly cards as well. And one thing that I'm noticing with the market right now, too, is a lot of these lower tier kind of not cheap cards, but cards that are under a couple hundred thousand coins. I really feel like the new user base of players that have come on to FIFA because of the holidays, people that maybe got the game for Christmas or got it on sale for Christmas, 
uh, that you know are joining the game and, and getting on it for the first time and building their squads. There's a lot of fresh hype around the game, and I still think there's a lot of gameplay demand there for a lot of people. Uh, that that's what's kind of holding this market up, especially as we see the lower tier of cards continue to rise slowly and slowly throughout the last couple of weeks since Christmas. Um, and I feel like there's still demand there. So that's trying. That's where I'm trying to focus my efforts today, right? Um, I'll go ahead and tell you guys one thing that I bought. That Jamie Vardy there for like 98k. I have a couple of those. I have a couple of Chesney for like 50,000 coins as well because there's been the Politano and there's still Syria hype. A lot of people have the Di Maria SBC that was out from when the World Cup ended. So I picked up a couple of these at 50k and under, hoping that we can maybe sell them on today for like, I don't know, 57 to 58k. It's going to be small flips like that, but if you do them in quantity, then you'll probably be able to make some good coins during this period. But again, the overall pulse of the market is we're going to still try to do some quick flips, but we're going to be very careful with it and stick to either really rare cards uh, that are a bit more expensive or try to just stick to that lower tier of the market that, you know, especially when you have less tax per sale of a card. I'm, I'm not going to lie. This Lucio is very tempting. If I see 650 flat, I might have to pull the trigger. Maybe we can get a sale like 700 or something. Maybe 640 would be a better price. But that's what you have to worry about in a market like this is you have to make sure you get a really good undercut or in a really good price because even if it's a rare card, it may not bounce all the way back up to where you thought it was going to go. So careful is the word that I would use. I've probably said it too many times already in this video, but like 380, that's I'm fine with that. Like just trade with stuff that's hype too, right? The Mares, I'm trading with the Manchester City links. It worked for me yesterday. That sort of stuff is what I would try trading with um, in the short term, right? Quick flips. I'm probably going to sell this stuff pretty soon. Now, speaking of why I'm going to sell it pretty soon, take a look at what we might have today for our content on Monday. Uh, we didn't get like a big SBC yesterday, like we were maybe talking about it happening. EA's back on their normal schedule, maybe, who knows, but we didn't get an icon or a hero upgrade player pick or any sort of gamble pack yesterday. We had only the 80 plus upgrade SBC, which we kind of thought we might get something along those lines today. Usually that's when we get like our normal gold upgrade SBC, but we did not end up getting that. The interesting thing is, of course, this Centurion's upgrade SBC chase coincides with that 80 plus pack if you do that 80 plus pack 100 times you get some extra packs inside of here now these packs are decent and they're nice but let me tell you guys this is probably not worth going out and spamming 100 times to get it done right away to get these packs right now if i were you guys i would honestly wait especially if you're saving any packs for team of the year all you have to turn in for this is like silvers right i'm sure there's going to be some rare mixed players packs electrum packs they give out silvers that don't sell for anything maybe some non-rare silvers from off leagues that don't sell on the market during team of the year. If you're opening up any of those safe packs that you could just slowly from your club filter into this 80 plus upgrade. Guys, this is going to be here for 89 days. I know the team of the year is probably going to be the most important time where a lot of people want to get this done, but don't feel like you have to hurry and get this done right away. Honestly, go into your club and check if you see any tradable silver cards. I believe like all silver cards right now are selling for like five to 600 coins during the peak of the day. They're probably gonna go back to that as well. 500 for the cheapest ones right now. Check your clubs for silvers from like off leagues. If it's a top five league, maybe you don't sell, just check the price. But anything that of course doesn't look like it's gonna sell for much, sell it for 500 coins because it's kind of the same thing when like rare bronzes go up. Sell those, take the cash because you'll earn a couple extra coins for what those cards should normally be. And uh, that's that's just a good place to sell and a good time to sell when we have a lot of demand because this SBC actually does require silvers as the minimum. I put gold non-rares in here. It's actually cheaper. You can buy gold non-rares for 400 coins, but silvers go for 500. FIFA market in a nutshell, right? Sell those silvers, get them out if you don't need them and uh, buy golds instead or just kind of craft them from the club over time. But that was very interesting yesterday. I hope we have another one today. I hope it's either like an 80 plus double or maybe even a player pick, a 78 plus player pick, something along the lines of another repeatable upgrade pack would be nice. Although I could see this being the only one that we have. It'd be unfortunate if it is because it's not that amazing of a pack. And a lot of people are complaining that they don't get good stuff from it. So hopefully get something else today along those lines. And then also today, we're just having our fingers crossed for some sort of icon player pick we had an icon player pick last week does that mean we're going to go to a hero player pick this week i feel like the possibilities are there and the potential is there to get I, I would have to guess if i had to take a guess i would say a hero player pick but it still could be some sort of icon player pick or some sort of gamble pack sbc today and the way that i look at the market right now in terms of fodder it looks 
investable to me and I am a fan because some of these prices dropped off from yesterday. Look at 85s. Index 85 was at 169 points all the way back down to 153. 85s are about 7,000 coins again, guys. And I mean, this is not bad at all. Yes, of course, on Saturday, they were like 6 point whatever K. You could get them 6.6, 6.7 for some of them before they spiked up with the big 100 pack SBC. Just a reminder, these guys were 8.2K on Saturday, right? And then yesterday, they were around 8K. Content dropped. We had the tradable supply of lightning rounds and people finishing their weekend league. And these cards are down again since we didn't have a big SBC. I'm liking 85s, even 84s, to be honest. I mean, you would need some big 84 demand. They're still in, definitely inflated, but 85s, 86s, I like the most. 87s, it's a little bit risky. And then the higher you go in the ratings, the more risky it gets because these guys are already inflated just a lot, right? 55K for Courtois, who was 41K last week i just think that the 90s and the 91s are too inflated for my liking even the 88s are starting to go up but you know 25,000 coins these guys were 22k uh just you know a couple of days ago when they were super low so i think if i would look at any market of the fodder right now uh, i think i like the 86s and the 85s the best for the biggest potential roi now again it all depends on the SBC that EA drop, right? EA is going to drop a good SBC that it makes the, the all the fodder market, or at least the middle tier of it, in demand for fodder to go up. So I would say it's a pretty safe time to go ahead and do a club stock. Again, if you think about it, we are in that time zone where we're a couple weeks before a team of the year. This would be a great time if you're EA Sports to drop some SBC packs out there that would drain people's clubs of their coins, of their fodder, right? A, a lot of people open this 100 upgrade pack, 100 players upgrade, and, uh, you know, that's got a lot of gold cards and some fodder in people's clubs. So it could be a really nice time for EA to try to drain some of that from the game, and I think they will do so starting today. That's why I think fodder would be a good uh, investment or a club stock at the very least. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do some of that on the 85s, 86s, maybe a couple 87s tonight um, as well or, or today uh, and just get that in my club so that I'm ready to go for whatever comes out this week. And especially it seems to be like in a big kind of situation in the market that we're about to head into, right? We're about to head into a part of the market where a lot of prices on meta cards are going to drop um, and people are going to have coins from selling their teams, right? They're going to be sitting on their coins and waiting for that next opportunity to buy. But if I'm being completely honest, another thing that EA is really smart at is knowing that that happens and then dropping these gamble packs like we just talked about. And then you've got coins, right? And then EA drops a fun pack. People are still going to do those packs, except for a very slight few, right? The really, really smart people that don't want to waste their coins before a big promo like Team of the Year. But... Uh, of course, a lot of people will see a gamble pack like a hero player pick or an icon player pick or upgrade or some sort of campaign or bag or something like that. You guys know, right, the gamble packs that are just fun to do and open. People will still do those even though the market is crashing and that will make fodder still go up. Um, and even though we're headed towards team of the year, that kind of stuff will still happen. So keep a close eye out for that today. That's why I'm I'm, I'm pro fodder right now. Like I'm not a I'm not a guy that usually goes and investing in that stuff or at least like unassigned at all. Um, that's not anything that I usually do. I'm probably not going to go unassigned. I'm not trying to tell you here that I'm going to be showing up to the stream tomorrow with a thousand cards minus sign there's no shot actually there's zero percent but will i fill up my transfer list maybe you know that sort of thing i will potentially do uh and i've also started to fill up my transfer list with cards that i think might just rise slightly into today but i like the out of packs market the best if we're going to try to venture into that today uh, winter wild cards too the centurions we kind of talked about there's some risk there because their impacts and getting supplied still but you know, Pepe is down a good amount. Could he go up today? Absolutely. Amabi, 36K. We did have the uh, mini release yesterday, which I completely forgot about the mini release. We, we actually knew it yesterday because Lucas Vasquez, Quagliarella, and uh, who's the third one? It was um, the Japanese center back, Hasebe. Those guys were actually leaked on Friday, and I completely forgot about those guys. But EA gave some nice upgrades. Vasquez looks pretty good for a right back. Four-star, four-star, high-medium work rates. Not bad. Of course, it's kind of like a direct replacement for the Carvajal PTG, but honestly, Carvajal's PTG card is the exact same, if not even a little bit better. You just you don't have the four star, four star. So this card, of course, is down because people are like, oh, well, let me sell my Carvajal and go try out the new Lucas Vasquez. 
that is out. So there's some hype around that card. A little bit of hype around Quagliarella, but there's, you know, he's only 42,000 coins um, and pretty good stats, just nothing super duper insane. Wow, Neymar is 193. That is very, very low. And I want to talk about these Centurions cards for a second too, because um, a lot of people have been asking me, Nate, when to buy these cards? Like, can, I know Kempembe is extremely meta, and I know a lot of people want to buy this card. But we had to stick to the basics and we have to stick to kind of what we know and, and almost like the common sense theory around this, right? If people this week are still willing to buy cards, could this Kempembe go up? Yes. But if people this week, especially with the team of the year stuff coming out, when voting starts, if people decide to start selling, if that happens this week, I'm not saying that it's everything's going to crash this week, but if that does happen this week, then I think you will still see this card drop down because these foot centurions do seem to be supplied a good amount, right? The supply on these seems to be pretty high. So that's what I worry for with a little bit of a guy like Kempembe. But let's be completely honest. If you're looking at a Kempembe to buy for your team, right? If you see like, I don't even know. Oh my gosh, Neymar, it's so low, bro. If Kempembe is like 400K, you know, in the middle of the week and there's been some panic before he goes out of packs, that's a lot more tempting to me than thinking about buying Kempembe right now um, with more team of the year news on the horizon and hoping that he goes to like 400 and 480K like, you know, in two days. Like that seems less likely to me than Kempembe going down another 20 to 30,000 coins and then rising up maybe out of packs. Just because it's Kempembe, I do believe that this card will be one to keep a close eye on during Team of the Year because a lot of people with PSG links being in Team of the Year will want to build teams with a guy like this. But we just got to be careful, right? We have to be careful uh, and just kind of keep the common sense knowing that a lot of people are not going to want to be buying teams that much in the next couple of weeks because we're getting close to Team of the Year. So it's going to be a very interesting market today. I'm going to try to trade in and out of it. Like I said, I bought some cards. I got some out of pack stuff. I got some in pack stuff, a couple of Jamie Vardy's. I got a couple of snipes. So I've invested about half of my coins, probably going to go do a nice uh, club stock on fodder right now and not spend too much more because I don't want to risk it too much, right? It's all about figuring out how much risk I want to kind of assume at the moment. And that's not a lot with what's coming on the horizon. So we'll see if EA have any huge surprises for us today. If they do end up putting the nominees in packs, that would cause an absolute madness, I assume, uh, if they did it like they did a couple of years ago. Uh, but I really don't expect them to do that. But hey, it's EA Sports. They'll surprise us sometimes. So we'll see. We'll talk about it. And of course, we'll watch it happen all live on stream. Link down below in the description. But if you enjoyed today's video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. Have a good start to your week. It's been Nathan for the count. And catch you guys later. Peace. Out.